there's a new way to reduce latency on Canvas elements. Web apps can now share files to other installed apps using the system level share sheet. And all of our talks from Google I.O. are on our YouTube channel. I'm Pete LePage. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 75. Drawing on screen with the Canvas element requires that the page synchronizes graphics updates with the DOM. This synchronization can sometimes cause latency. For example, in a drawing app, latencies longer than 50 milliseconds can interfere with hand-eye coordination, making them difficult to use. The desynchronized hint when creating a Canvas context uses a different code path that bypasses the usual DOM update mechanism. The hint tells the system to skip as much compositing as it can. In some cases, the Canvas's underlying buffer is sent directly to the screen's display controller. This eliminates the latency that would be caused by using the renderer compositor queue. Using the desynchronized hint is simple. Just add desynchronized true to the options object when creating the Canvas. Check out Joe's article, Low Latency Rendering with the Desynchronized Hint, for more details, including how to do feature detection for it. The Web Share API allows you to plug in to the system's share service provided by the OS, making it easy to share web pages and apps with other installed apps on the user's device. In Chrome 75, the Web Share API now supports the sharing of files. I'm particularly excited about this because it makes it way easier for apps to share photos, videos, and more. In fact, Squoosh is adding support for this to share files once you've finished compressing them. It's best to use feature detection to see if the WebShare API is supported, and fall back to your traditional mechanism if it's not. And you can use navigator.canshare to check to see if file sharing is supported. For now, you can share audio files, images, videos, and text documents, but that may change in the future. If navigator.canshare returns true, sharing of those files is supported, so you can call navigator.share and pass an object with the array of files that you want to share. Chrome will open the system share sheet and give you a list of installed apps that you can share to. Check out the article, Share Files with WebShare, for complete details. If you didn't make it to I.O., or maybe you did and didn't see all the talks, they're all up on our YouTube channel, or by going to the link on screen. Tom and I presented Unlocking New Capabilities for the Web, covering some of the amazing new capabilities that are landing in browsers this year. Addy and Katie covered some cool performance tips and tricks in Speed at Scale. Elizabeth and Paul dove into some cool DevTools things in demystifying speed tooling. And Mariko showed us how she and her crew built procs to work on any device, from feature phone to smartphone to desktop. If you haven't tried procs yet, it's a super fun Minesweeper clone. Subscribing is the best way to stay up to date with all the cool stuff that we've got going on, so click that button. I'm Pete LePage, and as soon as Chrome 76 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome. <laughs>